In this screen recording, I am going to provide a full tutorial in how to complete 7.5.1, which requires you to complete a selection sort in Scratch. Now, as always, please watch the introduction video and read the information in the book first and try your very best to attempt the task yourself before making use of the tutorial. The tutorial is only intended if you are really struggling. So, a selection sort is done by finding the smallest item on a list and then finding the position on a smallest item on that list. And we'll start by constructing our actual list. So we'll go to data, we'll make a list and we'll call the list fruit and then I will add maybe 15 or 16 different items of fruit to the list and of course it's important the list is not sorted already in any type of order. Okay, and we have now our 16 items. Then we are going to create four different variables. And the variables we are going to need will be position. We will also need a position, uh, we'll also need a variable called smallest pause and a variable called check pause. And then the last variable we'll need is called temp. Okay, so we'll start by taking a green flag as usual and we'll set position to 1. We have no need for 0 in this type of sort. Um, and then we are going to use repeat and we'll use repeat until then we're going to take a greater than operator back to data repeat until position is greater than the length of fruit so that means it's going to repeat until it gets to the end of the list and we can find length of down here and then we are going to use set two times actually so we'll duplicate set smallest pause to length of fruit and then we'll set check pause to position and then we're going to use repeat until which of course comes from control and that can go underneath once again we're going to use a variable of greater than repeat until check pause is greater than the length of fruit. Yeah, okay. And if variable back to data if item check pause of fruit is less than item smallest pause of fruit then set smallest pause to check pause change check pause by one. And then down here we're going to set temp to item position of fruit.
and we're almost done we are going to then use the replace feature down here twice so we'll duplicate it replace position of fruit with item smallest pause of fruit and then we're going to replace item smallest pause of fruit with temp and then just one little item remaining is to change position by one so that will allow us to shuffle our list slowly so you can see we've already started our search and it's going quite quickly and you can see now it's sorted banana, cherry, date, fig, so it is all in alphabetical order okay so hopefully that will help you to complete your selection sort if you are having difficulty and good luck if you have not completed it please let me know if you need more help